Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here with my OnePlus 2, showing off the Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow update on the device. First of all, it did get a new boot animation, which you're seeing now, but there are lots of other changes and new features added as well, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about those. Let's get into the video. Now, I first want to talk about that lock screen, and you'll notice in the bottom left, there is a quick voice search icon that you can swipe from instead of the phone icon. And also, I want to talk about that fingerprint scanner because it is faster. No, it's not a placebo effect. It is genuinely quicker and should be more accurate for yourself as well. Now let's go ahead and jump into settings, scroll all the way down about phone, and then you can, you'll can you see Oxygen OS version 3.0, and then also Android version 6.0.1. Of course, with that Easter egg, you can quickly tap on it and press and hold, and you get to that Easter egg game as well for those of you that would like to play it. The launcher got a bit of an update. When you press and hold and go into wallpapers, you can quickly switch between lock screen and home screen to select a various wallpaper, one of the OnePlus ones that are down at the bottom, a live wallpaper, or my photos as well. So that's a nice addition. Also, when you swipe over, you can hit rearrange and it's going to, I guess, technically organize them. You can undo it as well. Now, also you can clear a page and it completely gets rid of all of the apps and you can press and hold on one of the pages if you want to reorganize them as well. The camera got some improvements along with some UI enhancements. So let's go ahead and snap a couple quick pictures. It seems very quick and also it should be a little bit better as well. And then you'll also notice when it comes to the UI in the upper right hand corner, there's an HDR HD and uh, to turn those off quick switch and then same with flash, turn it on auto and off. Pressing the settings button right here, you can toggle the grid really quickly. And then also you can change your aspect ratio, 16, nine, one, one, and four, three, very quickly without having to jump into the full settings, uh, which you would have to do so by pressing that button and this button. Another addition to Android Marshmallow is Google Now on Tap. So you press and hold the home button and it doesn't go to Google Now anymore. It goes to Now on Tap. It analyzes what is on the display and gives you information. So you'll see Chipotle gave me information about it. I have a full review video of it. I'll link to it in the description if you want to check that out. If you do want to get to Google Now, you can just press that G and it's going to jump straight into Google Now for you. Now let's go back because emojis got updated with 6.0.1. So all the brand new emojis are there. Um, scrolling down, you'll see ones with hands that are right there, uh, money one, glasses. So all the new ones are there. I believe the middle finger one is there. Yes, it is. So the middle finger emoji is there as well. Cut, copy, paste got a nice update. So pressing and holding on some text, you'll see it's right above what I held on to. So cut, copy, share, press this, select all as well. And also if you have Google Translate installed, it will say translate. And there's a button for translate for that specific word. Also, when you are actually uh, looking at text, if you go to the right, it's going to go the entire word. And then if you go to the left, it's going to go letter by letter. Press and hold volume down and the power button. It's going to take a screenshot. And the reason I'm doing that is because you can now delete it straight from your notification tray. So just press that delete button and it's gone. Now there's some hidden settings called the system UI tuner. So what you have to do is press and hold on that settings icon right there. I'll try and do it so you can see it spinning. So it's going to start to spin as you can see, and I'm going to go ahead and let go of it and you'll see, congrats, system UI tuner has been added in settings. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and there it is, system UI tuner. Fun for some, not for all, so you might not want to play with it if you don't want to. You can show embedded battery percentage if you'd like and it pops up an embedded battery percentage. It really only shows up if it's quite full. Go into quick settings, you can change the order. So you just press and hold and you can move them around. So let's say I want hotspot uh, up the top. It doesn't seem to be working right there. Flashlight doesn't seem to be moving either. I'm not exactly sure why it's not, but you can add tiles as well, a broadcast tile. Um, I can't get it to work. So not too sure why I can't rearrange them. A little, uh, a little strange, but it's not working. So there you have that. And then status bar, you can choose what icons show up, up at the top here. So let's say if I don't want to see Wi-Fi icon. Uncheck, you'll see it disappeared right up the top. Recheck, it shows up. So nicely you can kind of declutter the top of the screen there. And then demo mode is just basically if you're trying to take screenshots for apps, etc. And of course, signature to the OnePlus 2 is that alert slider that is on the side to change for notifications. And this got a bit of an update in terms of there being a specific settings option right here. So we go to alert slider. So priority settings. So basically this lets you know what is what takes priority, what takes precedence. So calls from starred contacts only. You can go in from anyone, contacts, none, uh, repeat callers, 
and let's go back now you can go to silent settings as well if you want alarms to show up or not so very nice you can really customize those specific notifications with marshmallow now jumping back into settings scrolling down and going into apps there are per app permissions so if I go into calendar and click on permissions I can choose what specific things I want that app to use if I don't want my calendar to use location just press uncheck and it won't be allowed to use my location. So a nice addition with Marshmallow as well. And also with battery life, there is a new update. So we go into battery, uh, you'll see you go to screen. It lets you know how many milliamp hours uh, each specific thing is using. And also doze was added. So when your phone is just sitting on the table, not being used, maybe you fall asleep and forget to plug it in, it's going to use much less battery um, than if you were actually using it. There's also a specific RAM management option. So you go into memory, um, amount of RAM used over a specific amount of time, how much memory is used by each individual app as well. So nice for those, I guess, power users that like to see that kind of thing. Now, also one thing I really want to show off is Direct Share, um, which I actually use quite a bit. It's a nice addition to the Android operating system. So you go to a picture or anything you want to press the share button, and it's going to take who you've shared to in specific apps. So let's say I share a lot on Twitter to a specific person or Instagram to a specific person. It's gonna show that person up and also within that app. So you'll see, I'm gonna text Will. It shows up the messenger. So I recently texted Will and show it. So I tap on that, it's gonna go right into it, right into that specific contact. So direct share is something I use all the time. But overall, that's about it. I will do a revisited video with the OnePlus 2 uses my daily driver after a little bit of time, especially now that it has the Marshmallow update. So stay tuned for that. Click that subscribe button below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it hopefully it helps you out. Uh, click that thumbs up if it did. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links in the description video below. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.